What's going on, Legion Bees? Matty Guys here, Leads for Locals. In this video, we are going to go through some specific steps that you can take to warm up your brand new uh, Go High Level email address. This is really important for making sure that more of your emails reach the inbox over the long run. Obviously, we want to hit the inbox as much as we possibly can. That means more eyeballs on our content, our offers, which means potentially more clients and customers, et cetera. So uh, number one, we want to make sure that we're following good email marketing practices, particularly within the high level system. So I'm going to start with that. But then uh, step two, I'm going to show you how to completely automate the the warm up process of your brand new email address. Now, this is not a system where it's going to be warmed up and ready to go in 72 hours or anything like that. It's a process over time, takes a couple of weeks to start gaining momentum, but we need to think long term here, guys. And this this system, this the tool that I'm going to share with you, it has worked for me really, really well. And like I said, it completely automates the warm up process. And you can also periodically check to see if your email address has been blacklisted uh, so you can change your email address if you need to. Now, if you're following good email marketing practices, that shouldn't really happen. But it's a good thing to check every once in a while because if you've been blacklisted you could be doing all the repu you know, like email reputation warm-up stuff that you want but if it's blacklisted it's uh, it's not going to be as impactful right so uh anyways let me uh let me share my screen let's get into this uh, make sure you stick to the end guys because this is this is really really important uh because email is still just a a a crucial part of the of an entire marketing system and we want to make sure we get it right so uh, i'm assuming that if you're watching this you already have your dedicated domain connected inside of high level if you don't you definitely want to do that because uh, when we're doing email marketing things like gmail yahoo outlook they don't like to see what's ironic about that. Uh, they're not a big fan of seeing a bunch of marketing emails come from a Gmail Yahoo account. So you want to make sure you connect a dedicated domain, not to mention it's just more professional and better uh, for branding. Now, if you need to do that, if you want a step by step training on how to connect the dedicated domain, I will link that down below in the description. All right. Next, the from email field. This is really, really important. Uh, let me head over to high level. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. These are like the good email marketing practices that are going to help protect the reputation and deliverability of your email moving forward. You want to make sure because uh, this is really easy to miss. So if I go to contacts and then uh, if I click send email here, uh, of course, I need to select them. OK, one second. All right, here we go. So this is what I'm talking about right here. See this from email field. Um, sometimes uh, high level will auto populate the from e like whatever your login email is for high level, it will auto populate the from email field. You do not want to use that. Okay. You have to use whatever dedicated domain email address you have set up that always goes in the from email. In fact, I like to use a custom value for my from email. Uh, from the, like the from name from email. Uh, I have different training on that I'll link to that down below uh, if you need it uh, Just leave a comment and I'll send it to you But the uh, the from email addresses or the from email field is very important guys Because if you do if you don't have the right email in here one it might not even send but two uh, I can almost guarantee you it's gonna go to spam This is the the biggest mistake that I see people make when it comes to email marketing in the high level platform is they do not use the correct email address in the from email field. Make sure you're using the dedicated domain that you connect to high level, okay? So that's number one. Number two is use drip mode, please. Guys, do not be blasting out thousands and thousands of emails all at once. I, have, I can't tell you how many times I have seen people get their entire email account shut down uh, and you have to go through an entire process to re get it reactivated because they don't use drip mode. Now, what is drip mode? Okay, so let's go back. And uh, anytime you're going to send an email, you see this right here, send in drip mode. Basically, what this is going to do, this is particularly more important if you have like a larger list that you're importing or whatnot, and you want to do an email blast, you don't want to send it all at once. You want to break it up over time. I usually do like four to 500 per hour. You're going to want to do less than that if you have a brand new email address. OK, I, I would maybe do 50 an hour, 100 hour, uh, 100 per hour. Like you don't want to do too much at once, because uh, especially if you don't have a good reputation built up yet with Gmail, Yahoo and Outlook and all the others, they're going to see that as a spammer potentially. So be very careful with this. Just be smart. Send in drip mode. I'm just going to put an action. So we'll just do test for now. You can choose a start date. All right. I'm just going to do this right here. 
right? And then the batch quantity is how many do you want to go out every hour or day? Like you can choose the, the time frame here. So uh, let's say we wanted to do 50 per hour and you had 250 contacts that you wanted to send an email to, you could probably send out to 250, but I'm just, this is just an example. Uh, it would send out 50 emails every hour until the list is exhausted, until it got to 250. So it would take five hours to send that email in this particular example, right? And you could do a start from and end at, if you don't wanna do emails at three o'clock in the morning, that's up to you. And then you would send email, okay? So these two things right here, guys, the from email field using and using drip mode, really, really good uh, email marketing practices inside the high level platform. Okay. Test emails. So this is more of a manual process of uh, warming up an email address, but it's not uh, too difficult to do when, whenever you write an email. So if I go to, for example, I like using, uh, hang on one second, let me pull it up. All right, so I like using the email marketing templates and then putting these into my automations. I've done training on this too. Uh, if, if just depending on how much training you guys want, just leave comments down below if there's something specific you want me to send you. Because I've, I've done an entire training on the email marketing template builder. It is freaking awesome. All right, but let me go to one of my infinite banking ones. So that's my other business, my other YouTube channel. If you guys want to check that out, it's called Millennial Wealth Creator. I'm just sharing my wealth building journey on how I do infinite banking, private money lending and all that stuff, whatever. But anyways, let me, um, let, let's pull up this email. And uh, really anytime that you write an email and you're going to add it to an automation, you could just send a test email to yourself right here. So test email and you can put the, the sender name. And this is again, the from email, you wanna make sure that you're using your dedicated domain email address that you connected, all right? And then just send an email to yourself. And anytime you do that, you wanna make sure that, and you could do this with friends and family as well, if they're willing to help you out, or if you have multiple email accounts, like I have a Yahoo account, Outlook account, and a Gmail account. So I could send this to all three of those accounts. And then what, what you wanna do is actually open those emails. If they hit the spam folder, mark them as not spam, all right, and then make sure you open it, you scroll through it, you engage with it, click on any links, maybe save yourself as a contact, uh, the, the new, you know, the, the from email address, save as contact. All of these things are trust signals with the email providing, uh, the email providers, so Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, and all the others. All right, so this is kind of a manual way to do it. Like you're gonna be writing emails anyways, might as well send a, a bunch of test emails to yourselves, colleagues, whatever, have people mark it as not spam, open it, click the links and all that uh, because all of those are trust signals. Now, what we really wanna do though is automate that, enti that entire process. We really don't, that's not like a long-term strategy in my opinion, it's just to get things rolling. Um, because the tool that I'm about to show you does take a, um, about a week or two to really start gaining momentum, but it is called Warmbox, guys. I've talked about this plenty of times on my channel. And um, if you find this video helpful, guys, uh, I would really appreciate it if you go through my affiliate link for Warmbox. It is in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra to do that, but that's only if I have provided value and I've earned that. I would really appreciate your support. And uh, Warmbox is really cheap. Uh, I think it's as I record this, I think it's only like 20 bucks a month for one inbox, obviously more than that, uh, then you know, you're gonna pay more. But guys, this is absolutely worth the cost. This thing is phenomenal. It completely automates the email warm-up process and we're able to uh, directly connect it to high level, which I will show you here in a second. But basically the process that I just described with the test email, it's essentially uh, the same thing that Warmbox is doing, except on a much larger scale. Right, so you can see here that uh, 40 out of 40 emails have already been sent. But basically what they do is you connect your dedicated domain email address, okay? And then what they're gonna do is they're going to send emails on your behalf to all of their email accounts. And they're going to do what I just described. They're gonna open them, they're gonna reply, they're gonna mark as not spam, and they're gonna click links and all that stuff. And uh, if we go here, if I actually open up the warm box, you can see that total I've had 951 emails sent, uh, 951 interactions, 305 replies. I have a 0% spam rate. Now this does not mean that all of your emails are not gonna hit spam uh, because there's like specific emails that Warmbox sends, which is not the emails that you're gonna be sending. Um, the really nice thing about High Level is, uh, I don't know if it's out yet, but they are gonna have a spam check score 
uh, when like before you send an email. So it'll give you an idea if uh, your your email content is kind of spammy. So you could still end up in the spam folder, but from a reputation standpoint, this is really, really good. All right, so, and uh, I haven't even been using it for this email address for that long, but you can, you can see uh, everything that takes place here. Uh, like none of these are ending up in spam. It, and it, it, um, it, it fluctuates like the replies and stuff. So it doesn't look like it's automated, right? We, we don't, we don't want, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know that it would be like too big of an issue, but like, you don't want to go crazy with the warm up process because then it looks artificial, which is not good. We want to make this look as natural as possible. Warmbox is really, really good at doing that. So all of they, they, they uh, send, messages they send uh they or they send replies they click on links the market is not spam and overall it's really really good uh, a, a fantastic way to automate the warm-up process they also have this email blacklist and dns checker like i mentioned before you can run a new test and basically what it's going to do is it's going to give you an email address to send an email to like right here send an email to this address below from the email you want to test and it will let you know if the email has been blacklisted, it's going to check all the, the DNS stuff. So uh, just you want to check that every once in a while. I forgot what this is. Inbox spam checker. Um, I haven't uh, I haven't used this just yet. Uh, actually, it looks like it's coming soon. So um, you'll be uh, th this will be a really neat feature once they add it. But like I said, high level is going to be adding it as well. Maybe this will be a little bit more in depth. Not sure. But yeah, uh, Warmbox is fantastic. Um, let me show you how to connect it directly to your high level account, your dedicated domain. To do that, I'm actually going to pull up a different video that I did specifically walking you through this process because I only have uh, one inbox that I can do. I have to upgrade to add another one to show you. It's really not hard, but um, I'm just going to play this video for you guys and we'll go from there. Give me one second. Here we go. Yeah. So the tool that uh, I've used for years, a very long time and always recommend is Warmbox. It is super cheap. It's only 19 bucks a month, but uh, and over time, that really, really helps your email deliverability. It is awesome. I could, I just, I can't recommend it enough. So how do we get this connected? I've actually deleted my other inbox here so I can show you guys how to do this from scratch. But uh, the first thing we need to do is go to settings. We're gonna go back to email services, okay? And let's click on dedicated domain again. All right, I'm actually gonna set it up for my primary uh, email right here because I actually want to use uh, warm box for it. So we're going to click the three dots and right here, SMTP settings. Okay. Now you see, I already have one created, but all you do is create new SMTP user. All right. You're going to uh, put in your email address. Okay. That you're going to be using uh, inside of high level. So mine is info at, and then my subdomain message dot millennial wealth creator.com. So I'm, I just did uh, info right here. Okay. So that'll be the, the login. You could type in whatever you want there. Go ahead and create yourself a password. Uh, maybe write it down, put it in a Google Sheet or something like that. All right, and then you're going to click Create. That's all you have to do to create the SMTP user. Now, this did take me, it did take a few minutes to propagate. So maybe get this created, come back in 10 minutes, and then do what I'm about to show you because it wasn't working in the beginning when I first did this. But uh, it's funny, you can see there's uh, emails already being sent, and that's because or, um, earlier I was playing around with this and Warmbox was uh, starting to send out emails. Anyways, let's go back to Warmbox. Okay, again, affiliate link in the description. I really appreciate your support, guys. All right, uh, once you get signed up, once you're on your dashboard here, all we're gonna do is click on Add New Inbox. We're gonna go to Others right here, Add with SMTP. We're gonna click Next, and we're gonna fill this stuff out right here. All right, let's get rid of that. We're gonna grab the email, the login right here from our SMTP user credentials. All right, we're going to copy that. We're going to paste this in right here. All right, type in your password. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Make sure I didn't already forget it. Pretty sure that's it. All right, the host, the SMTP host is going to be right here. SMTP server. We're just going to copy this from high level. We're going to paste that in right there. The SMTP port that worked for me, because they give us three right here. I tried all of them. The, the one that worked was uh, 465. If 465 doesn't work for you, try out the other ones. Again, give it 10 to 15 minutes to propagate as well. That's probably what the issue actually was. All right, so uh, I'm just going to do 465 for now. 
we're going to choose SSL for the protocol and the from email is going to be the same thing right here. The, our username that we set up. Okay. And we'll click next. Uh, you can check connection. I'm pretty sure this is already going to work though, because I did this earlier. All right. But you could check the connection and it'll let you know if, if it's done and good, you know, if it's propagated already, here we go. <laughs> like what's this work? This is, this is just awesome. And uh, high level is just incredible. It's making it, it's just making our job so much easier as marketers and business owners. So uh, with Warmbox, I just I leave pretty much everything on default. They're the experts. I let them do their thing. I don't mess with any of these other things. I'm not saying that you shouldn't check them out, but I just leave it on grow progressive. It's most recommended. Uh, it's going to warm up for 45 days. But even after the 45 days, like that's just the minimum. It's going to continue to send those emails in higher and higher frequencies. So you see here, one email sent per day minimum, max is 40 per day, because we don't want to overdo it, obviously. Uh, again, I'm just going by the recommended amount, reply rate. And down here, you can see a chart of the progression of the number of emails that will be sent. You can actually adjust them right here if you want. But again, I'm just, I just let Warmbox do their thing, man. So obviously, this is you know the, the, the impact on our deliverability for our emails. It's a process over time with something like this. But... You know, you give it 30 to 60 days, you're going to be, you should be hitting that inbox uh, pretty, pretty consistently, you know. All right, guys. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me double check my notes. Hopefully that was, uh, hopefully that helped. Uh, it's a, yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, one box was the last thing. Um, it, it's a pretty, it's not a complicated process. And the fact that we can automate it just saves us so much time with Warmbox. I think uh, it's more than worth the, the cost. It's not even that expensive. And it just continues to build up and maintain a really good reputation for your email, which is going to significantly help you reach the inbox much more frequently. So anyways, that's my process for warming up a brand new Go High Level email address, guys. Nothing super complicated. Most of it's automated anyways. If you have any questions or if you want any of the other trainings that I mentioned, drop some comments down below and I'll send that out to you. And you know, if there's other videos you need me to make, let me know what that is, all right? Either way, I hope you guys are crushing it. I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, many ices out.